Number four on Wednesday, kids. Join me as I learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jarell, and welcome to our class. Dice and bricks are examples of a cube and rectangular present. But how do you determine the volume of a die and a brick? For today's session, we will talk about the volume of a cube and rectangular present. Are you ready, kids? Come on, and let us begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Vibal's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math. Just check the link in the description box to learn more. As we learn about volume, we will answer these two questions. First, what is volume? Second, what are the things to remember in finding the volume of a cube and rectangular prism? Come on, let's start answering these questions. Let's recall cubes and rectangular prisms. A cube is a three-dimensional figure that has equal width, length, and height. It has six square faces that have equal sides and all of which meet at right angles. While a rectangular prism is a three-dimensional object with six rectangular faces, it consists of length, width, and height. One property of three-dimensional objects like cube and rectangular prism is volume. Volume is the number of cubic units inside a three-dimensional figure. It is measured in cubic units. To determine the volume of a cube, we simply multiply the side three times to get the volume. A balikbayan box measures 50 centimeters on all sides. What is the volume of the box? The measure of each side is 50 centimeters. The formula in finding the volume of a cube is V equals S cubed. Now let's substitute. 50 centimeters times 50 centimeters times 50 centimeters. The answer is 50. Therefore, the volume of the Balikbayan box is 125,000 cubic centimeters. Good job! How about the volume of a rectangular prism? To determine the volume of a rectangular prism, we simply multiply the length, width, and height. Let's have an example. Sheena bought an aquarium with the dimensions of 35 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 15 centimeters. How much water does she need to fill up the tank? The given are length equals 35 centimeters, width equals 20 centimeters, and height equals 15 centimeters. The formula in finding the volume of a rectangular prism is V equals length times width times height. Let's substitute. 35 centimeters times 20 centimeters times 15 centimeters. The answer is 50. The volume of the tank full of water is 10,500 cubic centimeters. Now that we know how to find the volume of a cube and rectangular prism, let's try to answer these questions. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's find the volume of the rectangular prism with the following dimensions. 10 cm by 8 cm by 6 cm. The given are length equals 10 cm, width equals 8 cm, and height equals 6 centimeters. 
The formula is volume equals length times width times height. Substitute will have 10 centimeters times 8 centimeters times 6 centimeters. And the answer is 5.5. The volume of this rectangular prism is 480 cubic centimeters. How about the volume of this cube? Each side measures 8 centimeters. The given is S equals 8 centimeters. The formula is volume equals S cubed. Let's substitute. 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters times 8 centimeters equals 5.5. The volume of this cube is 512 cubic centimeters. In Japan, farmers have developed watermelons that are shaped like cubes and therefore fit better in refrigerators. What is the volume of a cubic watermelon whose edge length is 12 centimeters? The given is S equals 12 centimeters. The formula is volume equals S cubed. Let's substitute. We have 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters times 12 centimeters. The answer is 5.5. The volume of a cubic watermelon is 1,728 cubic centimeters. A lunchbox is 24 centimeters long, 15 centimeters wide, and 5 centimeters thick. What is the volume of the launch box? The given are length equals 24 centimeters, width equals 15 centimeters, and height equals 5 centimeters. The formula is length times width times height. Let's substitute 24 centimeters times 15 centimeters times 5 centimeters. The answer is 5.5. The volume of the launch box is 1,800 cubic centimeters. You did great, kids! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. Volume is the number of cubic units inside a three-dimensional figure. It is measured in cubic units. To determine the volume of a cube, we simply multiply the side three times to get the volume. That is V equals S cube. Meanwhile, to determine the volume of a rectangular prism, we simply multiply the length, width, and height. That is V equals length times width times height. You're fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about volume today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Of course, to experience magical learning at home, check out Vival's Happy Homeschool program. Just click the link in the description to learn more. Again, this is Teacher Jarel and see you on our next number full Wednesday.